stories of it is the wonderful and the renowned journalist and royal broadcaster, Carol Malone. Carol, how are you? I'm fine, honey. I'm fine. Losing my voice. I've been talking oh. so much, but anyway, I've got a bit left. Oh, there you go. Just, just sounds like you're looking forward to it, Carol. Um, okay, no, uh, but um, no, okay. On a, on a uh, definitely on a on a more serious note. Firstly, your your views on the day's proceedings and events. I am. I must admit. I will freely admit now. Absolutely sick of the word somber, but begrudgingly, it is probably the best word to describe the events. Oh, I, th I think there are much better words to describe today than that. I thought it was majestic. I thought it was emotional. I thought it was dignified, uplifting. It was inspiring. You know, I was looking at it and thinking countries from around the world, people from around the world looking at that would have been inspired. You know, no other country in the world could have done what we did today. It just, it just wouldn't happen. I, I know this has been planned for years. It's been well rehearsed and planned, but it went off without a hitch. You know, I was, you know, and watching all of those soldiers you know, from, from all regiments, those sad, proud soldiers doing their duty uh, brought me to tears so many times. It was just, you know, it's, I think, you know, I was looking at this, this is how our little island says goodbye to a monarch that we adored. And, and although, you know, she, she's now, you know, she's lying in state, I think there's a comfort. I think the reason all of those people are queuing, they want to pay their respects. One of your gentlemen there just said, you know, we're not mad, we're proud. And that is true. But also there's a comfort because there's a comfort in knowing she's still with us, you know. It's, she is, she's still there. And, and we're edging ever closer to the day when we're going to have to say goodbye finally. But the, the fact that all of those people are queuing is amazing. I, just, I thought the perception Session was so moving, you know, it was everyone in that procession had a connection to the Queen. There was members of her staff there, there was her equerries, obviously the family, it goes without saying, but people who were close to her in life all had a part in that procession. So it was a very, very personal thing. And it was interesting to, to look at the streets of London, you know. Apart from the, the haunting music of the procession, the streets were silent. People were either applauding or they were crying. And, and it was, you know, when I first heard the applause, I wasn't sure what I felt about it. But then I thought, my God, people need to say thank you. They need to show their gratitude. And that's what they were doing. And it was, I thought the whole day, you know, it was it was uplifting in its way. It was all also gut-wrenching in, in terms of the sadness that we're saying goodbye to her. But I think she would have loved today. I think she would have been very happy with the way it went. Agree completely, and it's a really interesting juxtaposition between people. We've go, we're going up north shortly to Anna Riley, our reporter up there, who's in a pub in Wakefield, I believe, for work though, for work. Um, but Anna's <laughs> going to be talking to the the landlady there, and the landlady's. I heard her briefly earlier and very, very upset and quite despondent. And then you hear a couple of people that Tom Harwell was interviewing on Lambeth Bridge just about to go and pay their final respects to the Queen. And they've queued for hours, some of these people. They're actually quite, quite up, upbeat, actually. They're very upbeat because they're about to go and pay their final respects. You would imagine that emotion would obviously shift and it would become a lot more solemn. But, um... Can I get your, 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 your views on, on a couple of the little things like protests, for example? I mean, in a way, I'm quite glad that, that some people are protesting because now we can identify who the people I hate are in society. <laughs> Is this for me? Yes, sir. I thought, yeah, I mean, they, they, you know, anyone who protests today is an idiot. It really is as simple as that. And I hope they're lifted and taken away by the cops. You know, it's, you know, I, I don't know whether they're, they're Republicans. I don't know what they are, but you know, they're just, they're just stupid people. This is a day that, that, that 99.9% .9 of the country, you know, want to pay their respect, respects, want to say thank you. And, and, there's a handful of idiots. They are not representative of the people of this country. They are not representative of what the rest of us feel. So let's just hope the cops got rid of them quickly. It's just stupid. You know, it's very, it's very selfish and it's very self-centered because no one wants to hear what they have to say. I don't care if people have a right to protest. They don't have a right to protest today when the Queen is being taken to Westminster Hall. They just don't. I'm very sorry, but anyone, regardless pretty much, right? pretty much regardless of who it is, 
If you are shouting at a funeral, then I'm sorry, or a service, or, you know, shouting near a coffin, anywhere for goodness sake, then you are no. not the nicest of individuals. Can you imagine going down the pub to your mates after that, Carol, and going, what did you do today? Oh, you'll never guess what I did. I went and shouted mean things at the family of people walking just yards behind their mother's coffin. He's like, right, I'm not sure I want to be your friend anymore. Just before I let you get going, Carol, slightly off piece, but not quite, I've had this news break to me whilst I'm on air. And it's been a solemn occasion today, and it's been very, very you know, emotional, a roller coaster of emotion. Great to see the pageantry, great to see the amount of people you know, queuing up to pay their respects to the Queen. Deeply sad, of course, watching the, the, the royal family walk behind the coffin. On another note, I've just found out that Greg's, McDonald's, Amazon, but not Centre Parks, are going to be closing on Monday during. At uh, the funeral, this is amongst various other things that are shutting down, including apparently things like GP appointments and doctor's surgeries. Forgive me, Carol, I don't know how you think. I want as many people in the country watching the Queen's funeral as possible. But I, 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 I'm going to take some convincing that she would have wanted Greg's, McDonald's, Amazon and to a much more significant extent GP surgeries to close for her funeral. You know, you have to remember the lady that we're mourning here. This is a woman who was one of the hard, most hardworking women we've ever come across. You know, she would not want the country to come to a close. She certainly would not want hospitals to cancel appointments. She wouldn't want matters of, you know, matters of government to be cancelled. You know, but like, there's a part of me that gets why people in Greggs and why in shops and supermarkets want to see it. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to, I'm going to take some time off and I'm going to watch it. So, I, you know, they feel entitled to do the same. I don't believe that essential services should be stopped. I mean, you know, people, some people wait months and months to get an appointment with the NHS and to have it cancelled on Monday's crazy centre parks were nuts. I think they've rode back now, actually, centre parks. I think they because they were going to order people who were already on holiday there to leave, which is a nonsense, you know, but I think they've rode back on that. I don't think that's happening now, but yeah, I, 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 don't I don't get why getting... the people don't want to end up getting Ingrid. sued by centre parks. They'll put me in a forest with the others or something. But, um, <laughs> yes, no, Carol, thank you.